time. I bet you think you don't have enough time. Time to do what you want to do in your day. Time to do what you want to do in your life. Hi, I'm Allie Bierman. I'm so glad you came by today. You can find me over at yourrelationshipintelligence.com. And today, I just want to review some stuff about time that I started into last week. Got a minute, what you gonna do in it? In your minute, you'll probably say you don't have time and that's a lie. I'm gonna tell you why. How much time do you spend on your phone? How much time do you spend alone without a device? Without a device. Social media may be far and away your biggest vice. Well, here's some helpful, some helpful advice. Ready now? Tune in, turn on to now. See the gifts. You only live now, that's why they call it the present. The solutions you seek will quickly become self-evident in the present. When you go within, well that's where knowledge of self does begin Your outside world Always and only reflects What's going on up here In the six inches between your ears And also here What you wanna know To your rainbow lives here. Now last week I was talking about the difference between what goes on in your head and what goes on in your heart and the fact that you have to have coherence between your brain waves, your spirit, and your heart. And the whole key, the most important thing to know is it all starts from your heart because your emotions are down in there and they're sending up the message to your brain of what to think and then you get to choose how you're going to respond to events as they are. But there's nothing outside of you that's telling you how to run your life except what you allow. Now, if you're feeling overwhelmed, I'll bet it's because you don't know how to go within. See, people don't just meditate to quiet their minds, which by the way, you can't really quiet your mind. So you learn different techniques so that the meditation takes you deep within so you can create. Well, actually studies show there are like 500 benefits to meditation. I've been doing it for decades and I don't know what I do without it. It allows me to get more time because it gives me ability to prioritize what's important in my life, in my world. Meditation makes a difference between feeling overwhelmed and out of control and in charge of your life because it's your life. And you're making the choice of how to live in each moment. Start with what you're feeling in here because what you're feeling in here, that's the message you're putting out to the universe. The universe always and in all ways 
delivers on your request, but they're not requests of words coming out of here. They're requests of the emotions you're experiencing. So about seeing social media as your biggest vice. People go on social media and they're often, only way too often, not representing who they are or how their life runs. And people see, oh, their life is good, so I need to make my life good. I need to do the things they're doing or say I'm doing the things I'm doing. People compare their lives to other people's lives. And as I said, much of the stuff out there has nothing to do with how their lives actually go moment to moment. Then there are people who start arguments, who want to push their views on somebody else. Why would you want to do that? How does that serve you? What it does is it drains your energy. Look at the time when you first go on any social media. And then look at the time when you finally say, okay, I'm done. That's a big block of time. The social media is stealing from you. Not to mention the fact it's grabbing all your personal data and grabbing the personal data from your friends and the things that you don't know that it's knowing about you need to wake up to the reality of the situation and also know the people who spend the most time on social media are in the big picture the loneliest people. Think about that for a moment. They're looking to connect online. What about real people in the world? Have you ever noticed people with other people? Everybody's on their own phone. What's wrong with talking to the person you're with? And just a quick health note on that about your own phone. I'm a healthcare practitioner. And when you have a forward head, and I see it in kids as young as in their 20s, because they're always like this, bent over. They're disturbing. That atlas, the ring that holds your head on straight, they're greatly impairing the functioning of the nerves going to your body, telling it how to work. The nerves can't get there because they're being impinged by the fact that your head's forward. And some brand new research is revealing the fact that people are growing a spike. Yes, I said a spike at the back of their head as a way for the body to try and counter that weight that's pulling the head forward and down. That's nuts. Live in the world. Talk to the people around you. You'll feel their energy. Oh, and if you feel the energy, it doesn't make you feel better. You need different people in your world. You will live the life of that of your five closest friends. So if you don't like the way you feel in your life every day and how it goes, time to get new friends. I'm Ellie Beerman. You can find me over at yourrelationshipintelligence.com. If you've never meditated or you tried and you gave up, check the link down below because I have some beginning suggestions of how you can meditate. I look forward to seeing you here next time.